Hello, I'm Kirsten Lee, the Distance Learning Liaison at the Fordham University Libraries. In this video, you will learn to search within a specific journal, find ebooks in the library catalog, and briefly look through interlibrary loan options and research guides. Let's continue to explore our initial research question of the relationship between pastoral counseling and spirituality with these additional resources. Remember that research is a process that includes searching for, gathering, and evaluating resources when you find an interesting avenue to follow. Librarians are here to help you with any and all elements of the process, and we can get started by searching for articles within a specific publication. To limit your research to just one journal, start on the library homepage, fordham.edu slash library. Click on the eJournals tab in the middle of the homepage. I'm going to search for our, our electronic holdings of Spiritus by typing the journal title in the search box. Keep in mind that there are different search options for journal titles. Since I know the journal's precise name, I will select Title Equals and then Search. Note that searching for an article title in this search box will not take you to the resources you need. And for the most effective electronic journal search, you will need to know at least the beginning of the actual name of the journal, not just the keywords included in the name. This shows me that we have access to issues from 2001 to the present of Spiritus in the, Pro in the Project Muse collection, and from 2003 to one year ago in the Religion database on the ProQuest platform. Let's open the Project Muse collection and explore this journal. At this point, you, you will be prompted to authenticate with your my.fordham username and password. The homepage of this journal gives me a summary of the periodical, including the focus of the content, the intended audience for this publication, and the sponsoring institution. Below this information, you can find the publisher and the available issues on this platform. From this page, you can easily browse specific issues of Spiritus in the table of contents or search within the publication. The most current issue will always appear at the top, so opening this issue can give you a good sense of recent scholarship with Christian spirituality. To search within Fordham's electronic holdings of this journal, just use the search bar at the top of the page. Let's try pastoral counseling here to see what we can find. That search gave us 24 results, which is a good amount to start looking through. Once you find a title that interests you, click on it to open the article. At the top, you have options to download or save the article and view the citation in your chosen format. The full text is available to read on the screen with easy navigation to EndNotes if desired. You also have the option to expand your search to all Project Muse journals in the very top search bar. By searching pastoral counseling here, we expand our search. Now we have 389 results. Note that this search defaults to look just at content that Fordham subscribes to, but it is easy to search in all content, and this greatly expands our result list. If you expand your search this way, keep an eye on the icons next to the view link. A green check icon means that you have access to it through Fordham but a red lock icon means you have to request the article through interlibrary loan or document delivery, which we will discuss shortly. Let's say you are doing a historical study and want to access articles and journals that might not be available electronically. No problem. You can search the library's physical holdings of a specific periodical from the library homepage. Click on the library catalog tab in the middle of the homepage and search for a periodical title. Let's try this with the journal Theological Studies. This shows you the link to the electronic holdings first and information on our physical holdings below. To enter the record, click on the title. Note the holdings information that tells us that Fordham has volumes 1 through 76 in its print collection. As an online student, 
you can request scans of articles from the library's print periodical collection. To do this, open a new tab and return to the library homepage. Under Library Services, click on Holds and Document Delivery. Information for document delivery can be found under a tab on the right-hand side under Additional Services. Please note that all requests for scans must, apply, must comply with fair use copyright restrictions. To make a request, click on the Document Delivery Request form. Use the, item, use the information in the item record to fill out this form. The first four fields relate to the library's physical holdings of the journal, while the remainder of the fields ask for the specific citation of the article you need. After completing this information, click Next and fill out your email and contact information. Library staff will receive this form and process the request by scanning the desired article. You can expect the article to arrive as a PDF attachment in your Fordham email inbox soon. You may also want to search for ebooks that will help you approach your research questions from a different perspective. Start your ebook search on the library homepage. Click on the library catalog, and this will immediately show you several search fields. This means that you can start with an advanced search, which is good. Let's continue searching pastoral counseling by putting that in the word or phrase box. You don't need to put quotation marks around the words, since the computer is already treating it as a phrase. Since I am interested in ebooks in particular, I can limit my search by selecting the type of material as electronic book and clicking search. This results page shows us that Fordham owns 41 ebooks that are relevant to the topic of pastoral counseling. Let's open one to explore the record. By reviewing the Look Inside tab, you will get a better sense of the appropriateness of this text for your research, as it includes a summary and table of contents. Clicking on the Catalog Record tab will allow you to note the exact subject terms that a cataloger assigned to this book. In this case, Pastoral Counseling is a subject term, not just a keyword. Clicking on that subject term will take me to a list of all the ebooks at Fordham that use pastoral counseling as a subject. We recommend reviewing at least the first 20 ebook results in your search to see if these resources are suitable to your individual research questions. Return to the Item Information tab to view the publication data and click on the blue URL to access the book. This page shows us the collection that the book is included in, so follow the eBook Academic Collection link to open the book. When you are looking at eBooks, make sure to note the publisher permissions and concurrent user level. The publisher allows a reader to print, email, or save up to 100 pages of this book. Unlimited user access means that many readers are able to access this text simultaneously. To easily jump to the chapter that is most relevant to your research, expand the parts in the table of contents below. Just as you would with your database resources, make sure to collect the citation of this resource in the Chicago style by clicking on Cite and scrolling to Chicago. A final step in gathering resources might be to utilize OneSearch. This is available in a tab on the library homepage. OneSearch can be a useful resource for topics that for whatever reason can't be effectively searched using more conventional subject-specific databases or ebook collections. The search interface is comfortably familiar, designed on the EBSCO model. In addition to journal articles and abstracts, OneSearch will cite books which are relevant to your topic of interest. OneSearch can be especially useful for highly complex, esoteric topics for which other academic databases may offer scant returns in searching. You are able to request scans of articles and book chapters that are not in Fordham's print or our electronic holdings through our interlibrary loan service. To do this, start at the library homepage. 
under My Accounts on the top left, click on Iliad. You will need to create a unique interlibrary loan account to make your first request. To do this, click on First Time Users on the Iliad logon screen. Read through the instructions and copyright information, and then click on First Time Users again at the bottom of the screen. Fill out the form with your information, noting that all required fields are designated with a red asterisk. When you're done, click on Submit Information at the bottom of the screen. Once you have created an interlibrary loan account, you can log in through the Iliad link. Under My Accounts on the Library homepage. Sign in with your username and password to open your account. I'll sign in to my own to demonstrate. Any outstanding requests will be in the center of your account screen, and you can see the status of these requests in the right-hand column. To make a new request, select the type of material you are seeking on the far left under the New Request heading. Let's say that I am looking for an article in a periodical that Fordham doesn't subscribe to. Fill out the information in the article request form, again noting that all required fields are designated with a red asterisk. When you have the full citation information provided in the form, click on Submit Request at the bottom of the page. You will see this new request added to your outstanding request on your account page and can monitor its status here. Our interlibrary loan staff then asks other participating institutions to send us a PDF of your requested article, which we will then share with you. Processing times for interlibrary loan items can vary depending on other lending institutions, so keep an eye on your Fordham email inbox for an alert when your scanned item is available. Research guides can be helpful roadmaps to the research process. You can find all of our research guides under the Research Support tab on the library homepage. Clicking on Research Guides will take you to a comprehensive list of our guides. If you organize this list by discipline and scroll down, you will be able to see the guides specifically related to re religion and theology, including a guide for the Online Graduate School of Religion and Religious Education and a subject guide for religion and theology. Let's open these guides in new tabs and take a look. The tabs at the top of the page on the Religion and Theology Guide highlight several areas that might be of interest to you, from biblical resources to systematic theology and world religions. The tabs on the Online Graduate School of Religion Guide Categorize the types of resources that you will need to access to effectively complete your research projects. Visit these and other research guides to start exploring various avenues and resources for your individual research questions. We offer 24-7 research support through our Ask a Librarian chat service. You can find the link to our chat service at the top of the library homepage or on the right-hand side of the screen when you are searching within the EBSCOhost platform. Feel free to contact us through your preferred method of communication by phone, text, or online chat. Just click on the chat box to get started working anonymously with librarians at Fordham and beyond. I hope this video has helped you understand the research process in electronic journals and books and has introduced you to the resources and services the library has to offer you. Do not hesitate to reach out to the library with any questions you might have, and best of luck with your research projects.